In chess versus checkers, the checkers can jump over multiple pieces in a single turn, just like you'd expect. Double jumps only happen a few times per game, and triple jumps are incredibly rare. But there technically isn't a limit, so that made me wonder, how many pieces could you jump over in a single turn? Well, because of the extra squares that the checkers can use, we're basically working with a 10x10 board. And since a checker can only move two squares at a time when jumping, we are limited to just 13 of the 100 possible squares at most. And if we place a piece between each of these moves to represent a jump, we have 16 pieces, so we should be able to jump 16 times. But it isn't that simple. It's impossible to escape these corners during your move, so we can only use them at the very beginning and the very end of our move, so the other two are useless. We can simplify the problem by using this shape, where we are forced to start and end on one of these four squares. Each time we visit a square, we have to capture one of the pieces around it, then capture another one as we leave. So the second time we land on one of these outside squares, we'll have no way to leave, and we can only use the center twice. So no matter what we do, we will always lock ourselves out of two of the remaining pieces, meaning the most jumps you can perform in a single move is 12, and it's pretty satisfying to do. 